yes, ma'am. Um, Start prelude at 11. Oh my god, Mikey. Just here. When you're ready, go like a minute or so. I think I'll be able to do general. In four minutes, then. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was time to start, and I was just like moving around, and then I just kept playing, and I was talking to my I looked at my phone, or I picked my watch, but I was like, can I see it? I think it's an update from him. I was like, what are you doing? I was just like, I don't even know what Church. 
What a beautiful day we have to celebrate the resurrection. You will notice in your bulletin there are some inserts. Uh, please connect with us through the connect card. You may place it in the, uh, in the basket as you exit today. If you are a first time guest among us, if you would bring this, this card and come to our welcome table that's over there and we have a special gift for you today. Or you may say, I'm handing it in at the end and you'll get your gift. You'll also notice that there's a card about the first of our summer concert series. So I hope that you will put that on your calendar and watch for other ones. There also is a giving envelope. And again, as you exit, uh, there will be someone with a basket to collect. Uh, the gifts in the envelope go directly to the Ministries of Grace. The loose change you may find around in your car uh, or some dollar bills you'd like to put in go directly to our Good Samaritan Ministry. And there are many needs, as you know, in our community now. We will give directions about uh, the communion time at that time. So Christ is risen. And anytime I say that, if you will respond, Christ is risen, risen indeed. indeed. So we'll rehearse that. Christ is risen. Christ, Christ is risen indeed. Let us worship.
Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Hallelujah. of Jesus, like kids finding hidden Easter eggs, we experience joy. Restore our broken relationships. Deepen our relationship with you. Deepen our relationship with one another. Through our music, our prayers, the word read and spoken, and the celebration of the Holy Communion, Empower us to bring the good news of your resurrection to others. For with Christ and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Join in declaring what we believe. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, Born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. The third day he rose again. 
He ascended into heaven. He sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. As we do every Sunday, the peace of Christ be with you. And also with you. You may honk your horns if you're in the car. <laughs> My name is Pastor Chadwick Smith. I'm the pastor of Youth and Community Engagement. Hello, my name is Yojin Kakhoffin. I'm a children's pastor here. We thank you so much for joining us today. If there are any children or teenagers with you today, we do ask that you join us. We'll meet over here after the children's moment in the parking lot. How many of us have ever seen something great happen that wasn't supposed to happen? Maybe you passed a class that you were failing the whole semester. I've been there before. Or you had a relative who was really sick, but now has fully recovered. Well, today is the day that the church celebrates something great happening that was not supposed to happen. Jesus got up from the dead. 2,000 years ago, he was killed, and three days later, he walked away from his grave like it had never happened. You may be wondering, well, what does that have to do with us today? That was over 2,000 years ago. Well, when Jesus defeated death, he was showing us that all things are possible, that we too have the power to make the impossible possible. So when we go about our lives, and we see things that look like they won't change, whether it's our grades, our health, our family's financial situation, or the mean ways of the world, we can be assured that like Jesus, we have the power to change. Amen? Amen. So we now again invite all teenagers and, teenagers and children to meet us on this side of the parking lot. of Jesus, a reading from the Gospel of John. Early on the first day of the week, while it was still dark, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb and saw the stone that had been removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and the other disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, and said to them, they have taken the Lord out of the tomb, and we do not know where they have laid him. Then Peter and the other disciple set out and went toward the tomb. The two were running together, but the other disciple outran Peter and reached the tomb first. He bent down to the look in and saw the linen wrapping lying there, but he did not go in. Then Simon Peter came, following him, and went into the tomb. He saw the linen wrapping lying there, and the cloth that had been on Jesus' head, uh, not lying with the linen wrapping, but rolled up in a place by itself. Uh, then the other disciple who reached the tomb first, also went in, and he saw and believed. For as yet they did not understand the scripture that he must rise from the dead. 
Then the, then the disciples returned to their homes. But Mary stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying. One of them, one of the one at the head and the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Uh, when she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which, uh, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am attending to my Father and your Father, to my God and to your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. Is the word of the God, the word of life. Thanks be to God. God. of that celebration 
with added lamb for dinner and chocolate bunnies, etc. But we would be wrong, especially because we are still in a Good Friday world. The sacrifice of the cross is something we can connect with. The grief and sorrow is all around us. I like how Esau McCauley in the New York Times wrote of it. We know what to do with grief and despair. We have a place for it. We have rituals that surround it. I know how to look at the anti-black racism, the anti-Asian racism, the struggle of families at the border, those suffering economic deprivation, and we can feel of despair. I know what it's like to watch the body count rise after a surge of infections or a mass shooting, only to have the country collectively shrug because we are too addicted to our personal freedom and guns and our violence. I know how, to, how it feels when I look to the church for help, only to have my faith questioned because I see in biblical text a version of social justice that I find compelling. I put it all in the tomb that contains my dead hopes and dreams for what the church and country could be. Hope is much harder to come by. The women did not go to the tomb looking for hope. They were searching for a place to grieve. They wanted to be left alone in despair. The terrifying prospect of Easter is that God called these women to return to the same world where Jesus was crucified and to proclaim him alive. A gift of hope in the power of God, the unending reservoir of forgiveness and an abundance of love. That's a different spring reality. Christians at their best are the fools who declare and believe in God's power to call dead things to life. Of course, Mary was in a place of despair. She had gone to his tomb, but where was the tomb located? Not in a graveyard, but in a garden. In that garden, seeds come to life. That's the purpose of a garden, to grow things. This Jesus laid in a tomb, dark and dead, she could not imagine anything different. But then she found the angels there, which seemed strange to her. Perhaps she had never seen angels. Maybe you have. They might be angels unaware to you. But then she sees someone that she presumes is the gardener. And she says, please tell me where they have taken Jesus. She could not imagine anything more. The seed of a body that has no life, buried in a tomb. But like seeds that spring to life and that surround us now in this season of blooming, there is new life that comes. And we are called to be part of that new life. Through our baptism, we are buried to our old self. And we rise to the new way of life. We are
are given a new identity, a new world to create out of God's love and eternal life in the next. Whatever you are facing today, sins, pain, loss, fear, brokenness, doubt that has buried you, there is no better day no better garden than this outdoor spot and this time to allow Christ to breathe new life into you. New life as a tender heart of mercy to embrace and love others. A new life where there is more grace, more community to live this life of love together. The different reality of the cross is not just new outfits and gatherings of great meals and egg hunts. We are challenged to live as new people, building a world of justice, of peace, a life that where anyone can thrive, a life where there is love for everyone. Jesus encountered his disciples after the resurrection and he said to them peace be with you indeed this day christ is risen christ is risen indeed hallelujah amen wipe away the tears from our eyes, bring hope to the hopeless, open the eyes of the blind, set the prisoners free, and bring healing and wholeness to those who need it. Lord, we ask that this resurrection bring a revolution of justice. May the hungry be fed, the outcast be welcomed, the downtrodden lifted up, and those who are in poverty may be enriched. Lord, we ask this, that this resurrection bring renewal of our lives, restore our broken relationships, reopen our relationship with you, reopen our relationship with one another, and empower us to bring the good news of your resurrection to others. All of this we ask in the name of the risen one, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.
Christ our Lord invites to this table all who love him, who repent of their sins and seek to live in peace. Therefore, let us offer our confession before Almighty God. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the need. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right to give you our thanks and praise, O God. Above all, we praise you for the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. For by his death, he destroyed death. And by his rising to life again, has restored us to everlasting life. And so with your people on earth and all the company of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of all might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. Holy are you, and blessed is your Son, Jesus Christ. On the night in which he gave himself up for us, Jesus took bread, gave thanks to you, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Taking a cup, again he gave thanks to you, shared the cup with his disciples and said, drink from this all of you. This is the blood of the new covenant poured out for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And so in remembrance of these your mighty acts in Jesus Christ, we offer ourselves in praise and thanksgiving as a holy and living sacrifice in union with Christ's offering for us. Make them be for us the body and blood of Christ, that we may be and receive them with your joy and your love. By your spirit, preserve us in peace, unite us in service, and bring us at last to the feast together at Christ's heavenly banquet. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit in your holy church, all glory and honor is yours, almighty God, now and forever. And as Jesus taught us, we are bold to pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever.
The cup that we share is the blood of Christ. Come taste and see the goodness of the Lord. We invite you, if you would like to come forward, to come at the beginning of the flowers and you will see they are socially distanced from each other. And we ask that you pause at those stations, come and receive, and those who come this way, place your cup here. We will also have servers at the top of the hill and over here to serve uh, whoever would like to go. They will come to the cars or you can find them at a station. Let us come together and feast.
Let us pray together. Eternal God, we give you thanks for this holy mystery in which you have given yourself to us. Grant that we may go into the world in the strength of your spirit to give ourselves for others. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Grace Church welcomes all and hopes you find ways in this community to live out your Easter faith. We will worship each week outside during April and May, except when it rains. Um, our Wesley Companions class is now meeting inside on Sunday mornings. For those who, of you who are regular with the class and newcomers who are vaccinated. Um, after the service is over, those who will be serving our homebound folks, please come forward so you may receive the elements uh, for the homebound service. See the end of the bulletin for news in our community conversation on mental health, as well as ways to serve the broader community through our health ministry this coming Saturday and our blood drive on May 19th. You can sign up for the blood drive on at red blood, red, redcrossblood.org. As you leave today, there will be baskets in which you can place your offering and also receive a treat. Uh, since we can't share fellowship yet, uh, consider it your adult Easter egg. <laughs> the children's egg hunt will begin after the service has ended. We would also like to uh, offer a special thanks to all who provided music with us today. Alleluia! Alleluia!